Hello guys, Kaijuto Channel here with the rulings update video. Okay, so I set up my board the way a normal game would be played. You have the five shields, you have cards in your mana zone, but now there are a couple differences to the original Duel Masters game. So if you noticed inside the battle decks deck lists, uh, there wasn't a single card that had four copies in it. There are always three, two, or one. And that's because in this new Kaijudo Rise of the Duel Masters game, you are only allowed to have three of one card in your decks. So that is one major change to the original game where it was four of any card, but now you're only allowed three. So for example, three Blaze Belchers, you cannot use four. Now, here is the major change to the original game. So if you remember in the original game, so let's say if you want to play Tatsurion, the Unchained right here, well he's not the Unchained, but let's say you want to play Tatsurion. So he's a level 6 and he's a fire card. In the original game what you had to do is you had to tap at least one card of the matching civilization to the card you want to play. So you would have to tap this and then five cards to play Tatsurion. But in Kaijudo it's very, very different. It makes a huge difference. So, in Kaijudo, what happens is if you have at least one card of the matching civilization in your mana zone, then that's already half of the condition done. But now, if you have six mana that are not this fire one, you can go ahead and tap six to play Tatsurion because you have at least one fire card in your mana. Now, you may be thinking, what if this fire card is tapped? Well, you can still play it, because as long as you have one fire card tapped or untapped in your mana zone, you have fire in your mana pool. So, as long as you have a fire one, and you have six untapped, you can still tap these six, and you'll be able to play Tatsurion, because you have this one fire card untapped or tapped in your mana zone. So that makes a huge difference because in the original game you had to tap at least one card of the matching civilization, whereas in Kaijudo it's as long as you have a fire card or the card of the matching civilization in your mana zone, tapped or untapped, and you don't even have to use it. You can use any other cards you have in your mana as long as it adds up to the level of the card that you want to play. So that is pretty much it. Everything else is the same. So as far as deck lists go, I know a lot of people were thinking about uh, whether it was going to stay at 40 cards, no more, no less. But once again, like Duel Masters, there is no limit, except you must have at least 40 cards in your deck, but you could have more. I don't think there is a maximum, but from what I read, it's 40 or more cards in your deck. You do not need to have exactly 40. So that's very nice. As far as the game goes, it's the same phases. I mean, you draw a card, uh, you can choose to or not to put a card in your mana zone and then you tap to cast whatever you want and uh, then you go to the combat phase where you choose which ones you want to attack with. Same rules, summoning sickness, so you can't attack the turn you summon it but this guy can because he has fury charge so he destroys a blaze belcher, you know, stuff like that. Um, shields, same thing, you break a shield it goes to your hand and, you know, if they have a shield blast, you can use it. So, bam, rock bite, kills Blaze Belcher, and it keeps on going, and keeps on going. Now, there were a lot of rumors where um, if your last shield was broken and then nothing happened, your opponent automatically won. But that is not the case. That was just a rumor. Uh, once you lose your last shield, your opponent still has to do that final blow directly to you without being blocked or anything special that blocks the attack. If it goes through, just like the original game, Todome da, you are finished. So you have to do that last push towards the opponent, just like the original game. I uh, just wanted to clear that up because a lot of people were thinking that uh, once the shield is destroyed, then it's over. And also, same thing for the deck out rules. The moment you have zero cards in your deck, you lose the game. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Other than that though, the game is pretty much the same. So if you've never played this game before, I suggest you go online on the Kaijudo website and check out their rules and their FAQs. They have tons of frequently asked questions and a very nice rule book to explain how this game works in detail. And uh, so I just wanted to go over the differences between the original game because a lot of the people who are subscribed to my channel 
I've already played Dual Masters and it's pretty much the exact same thing except for those two modifications that I just talked to you about. So that's it guys, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that so now you know when you play the game you could do that crazy mana thing and you're only allowed three copies of a card in your deck. So that's it guys, so the next videos I'm going to upload are going to be those deck analysis things that I was talking about in my last video where I opened the battle decks. So stay tuned for that guys, this is Kaijudo Channel, signing off. See you later guys.